Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Paul Saladin Leonhardt and a known player that was played in Hamburg in 1912. Leonhardt had white pieces and he started with e4. e5, knight to f3, d6, queen defense, d4, knight to d7, bishop to c4, c6, and Leonhardt played knight to g5, attacking the pawn on f7. How should black defend? Black played knight to h6, white to move. Castling comes to mind. Instead, white thought very, very deeply and played a4. Believe it or not, this is a very important move. Bishop to e7. We have reached the critical position of the game. It is a white move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the killer move that white played. Ready? What did you find? Leonhardt captured the pawn on f7. This is check. Knight takes on f7. Can you see the move for white? Knight to e6 attacking the queen. And black played queen to b6. Is queen to a5 better? Let's have a look. If queen to a5 check, then bishop to d2, and after queen to b6, a5, queen takes pawn on b2, and bishop to c3 is winning the queen after, say, queen takes rook, bishop takes queen. In the game, black played queen to b6, a5. If the pawn wasn't on a4, the whole idea wouldn't work. Check. c3. Queen to c4. How should white continue now? Knight to c7. Check. King to d8. White played a move and black resigned. What is the move? b3. Black resigned. The queen is trapped. Unbelievable. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.